Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today's task on the midget is to uh, change the flexible brake pipes because um, it actually says in this um, owner's manual that uh, they should be changed every three years or 36,000 miles. Now, obviously I haven't done the miles in it, but it's certainly more than three years since I replaced them. Um, I actually, when I first got the car, I uh, changed every piece of rubber, tyres, uh, fuel hoses, and including these flexible brake pipes. So I've got some good rich uh, braided ones. Uh, so hopefully that should also eliminate the spongy uh, brakes that we have. Um, yeah, I mean, I just put it down to no servo. So we'll just see. So uh, let's get the car jacked up, wheels off and get those old hoses off and the fluid out. Right, that's the wheel off. Right, it's had a drain tin underneath there. Let's see if we can get this bolt undone here. Five eight spanner, and on it goes. And here we go. Right, I think what I need to do is probably take these air filter pipes off. I wonder if I can get away without removing the air cleaner. We'll just see where we can get down in there, really. We need to hold it. We need to hold it a bit different. I like that, that should be 916th, but I don't think it is. It's a bit loose on that, let's try something better. I'm going to remove that air, air cleaner, I think. I think it would be better. Might be heading for our first problem here. Yeah? I can't get that pipe undone. Bear in mind it's a Saturday afternoon and not many places are open to get a new brake pipe. And uh, I'm kind of at work with the midget. So, we'll see. We can do this or not. Let's get this all off and uh, come back and join me. So once I've removed the air cleaner, there'll be a bit more access to that hole from the other side. So I was able to remove the old flexi pipe. So I've got the new one here now to, to fit in. So uh, let's get this one on and uh, hopefully that's one side done quite simply. And try and look for a natural, you can't see it down there, a natural flow for how that um, banjo is going to sit. This has got to sit in that groove somehow. But I noticed here that now the nut that was locked in place is no longer. So I'm going to have to see what we do from the other side there. Yeah? Okay, we to kick too much, especially that fuel hose, and get that on there. Yeah, we'll sit right anyway. It's tricky to get in there. 
great by me. And that's one side to on, hopefully. Hopefully that works all right. Yeah. Yeah, it's all right. It doesn't foul or anything when we move it. So. Right, move on to the other side. So that's the um, brakes all done all round, or brake hoses all done all round. Um, I struggled to actually film most of that because um, it started to get a bit difficult uh, with fluid everywhere and I don't know, it's just, um, I don't know, I do find it difficult to actually do the job and film and I'm sure many of you out there uh, would feel the same, you know, but uh, yeah, I got it done anyway. So what I hope now after changing the uh, brake hoses is we now give a bit more peace of mind that uh, those hoses aren't going to perish or collapse. What happens to uh, hoses is they actually collapse on the inside so they um, stop the fluid from, from flowing. So uh, hopefully we've cured that. What we have found now is we've got a little bit of a sticky pedal. It doesn't um, spring right back. So I think one of the jobs I'm going to have to do is to um, take out that pivot bolt on the uh, pedal box and, um, and clean that up somehow. Um, I did read on the forum last night that uh, some people um, have put grease nipples in there but whether that's a bit extreme I don't know but uh, certainly feels like it needs some sort of lubrication in there so let me know in the comments down below if you've got any problems with your um, sticking brake, uh, yeah, brake pedal. Uh, clutch seems okay, that's the weird thing but uh, we'll see. So that's it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button um, and uh, subscribe and uh, look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thanks for watching.